What we have here is a version of an experiment done back in 1977 by Brendan McGonigal and Margaret Chalmers on squirrel monkeys. So it starts off where you have two cups, in this case a purple one and a yellow one, and under one of the cups of course is a treat, which in this case is the purple cup, the yellow cup has no treat. So you present this to the squirrel monkey and eventually the squirrel monkey gets, aha, pick the purple cup. That's where you'll find the treat. Just ignore the yellow cup, right? So once the squirrel monkey has learned to pick the purple one, we go on to what we call here a second trial. Okay, so change up the cup colors a little bit. So this time we have a yellow and a green cup. And in this case, learn hmm, nothing under the green but there is something under the yellow, right? So eventually the squirrel monkey picks the yellow cup, right? So you can change it up, right? Doesn't matter, it's always gonna be the yellow cup, right? So once the monkey has passed this part of the test, we have what we could call step three, or the third pair. And here we have a green versus a blue cup. Question is, which cup will the monkey pick? And you may say, well, green might have nothing in it because green didn't have anything last time, so maybe the blue, but oh, nothing under the blue. Green actually has a treat, right? So eventually the monkey is going to learn, in this case, pick the green one, right? Don't worry about the blue one. Then we have here fourth step, or fourth pair. We have a blue versus red pair, right? The question is, which one will the monkey pick? And, oh, it looks like I guessed right this time. The blue has a treat under it, whereas the red doesn't, so you can change it up, right? And the blue will always have the treat, right? So, basically, um, the question is then, given all the pairs that we've seen here, right? So you've seen always this one, the purple one, has the, uh, the treat, right, in the first pair right? Whereas this one doesn't. It's always the ones on the left. So this one has a treat, whereas this one doesn't. This one has a treat, and this one doesn't, and this one has a, uh, let's see here, I'll mix that up. Um, uh, oh wait, that's right. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. That one has a treat, right? Whereas um, the other one uh, does not, right? So the idea is it doesn't matter if it's on the left, because presumably you could always change it Right, uh, I'm just kind of presenting it in order here, right, to sort of make sense of what the Chalmers were trying to do, right. So the idea is we might say, right, um, what if we were to give another sort of case here, right, where we just had a, a yellow, right, versus say a blue cup, right. We'd say, well, 50-50 chance, right. But when they did the experiment, something else um, happened was that they would always choose the monkeys, okay, um, so we're going to demonstrate this here, right? Um, so if we had just a yellow blue cup, we would say, well, maybe both have a treat or maybe both have nothing under them, right? But for some reason, the monkeys always chose this one, right? Or at least chose, a, we might say, a little more accurately, a greater preference for it. Okay, maybe not in all, all cases here, right? So the question is, well, what's going on, right? Well, what's theorized here is we have a case of transitive inference, right, is what the Chalmers and some other um, people doing these studies have thought, is that well, we say that purple is better than yellow, right? Yellow is better than green, right? And green is better than blue, right? And well, blue, of course, is better than red, right? So if we take these away, we would say yellow is better than green, green is better than blue. Therefore, right, when you just have these two together, right, the idea is the monkey may be inferring, oh, yellow is actually more preferable than blue, right, for the combination here. And so we have a case of um, what some researchers call transitive inference or uh, what they would call a form of reasoning, right? The question, of course, is are there other maybe simpler explanations for this.